For some, they're protective creatures. For others, an omen of death. They've even been described as a manifestation of the devil. Whatever their purpose, the phantom black dogs of Britain have appeared in many shapes and forms. In 1577, a devil dog reportedly bounded into a church in Blythburgh. As the congregation knelt in prayer, it swept through the pews, apparently killing two men and a boy. Another person was said to have suffered burns in the attack. Today, scorch marks are still visible. Even the church has given some weight to the story. Its official brochure describes the markings as the devil's fingerprints. Legend has it that another church in the nearby town of Bungie was also visited by a devil black dog. The frightening event is said to have happened on the same day during a violent thunderstorm. One written account published shortly afterwards describes how a black dog or a devil in such likeness appeared before the terrified congregation. Panic broke out as the beast attacked two worshippers who dropped to their knees, praying for mercy. While church records make no mention of the phantom dog, they do confirm two deaths, but in the belfry. It's claimed the pair were struck by lightning as they rang the giant bells to frighten away evil spirits, thought to have caused the shocking storm. demon dog or nature's fury. One thing's for sure, after that day churchgoers took Old Chuck very seriously. There were certainly prevalent notions about the black dog as a very evil figure and so presumably if anything tragic or disastrous happened in their lives they might associate that with a sort of black dog figure. Bungie isn't shy about the dark page in its history, quite the opposite. It plans to commemorate the millennium with a statue of the black dog. But not everyone is keen to see the devil creature celebrated in bronze. They say it's a symbol of the devil and that it's an evil thing and we shouldn't be associating it with a Christian millennium celebration. But if you go back to the black dog story, there was a very positive outcome in that people were drawn together as Christians re-examining their beliefs. While the debate rages on, there's no sign of it affecting the number of witnesses coming forward. I was going to work one cold and windy morning and I got my head down biking towards work and uh, I suddenly heard a chain rattling on the road like a dog pulling a chain along. And uh, when I looked up, there was nothing there. Mr. Jackson says the sound made by the heavy chain was unmistakable and terrifying. His wife is another who agrees that old Chuck is no fairy story. There's obviously something around here. I mean, that's, that's not just coincidence that different people have seen things, as far as I'm concerned. So yes, I do believe in the old Chuck, whatever you like to call it. For Ivan Bunn, the weight of evidence is too heavy to dismiss. Reported sightings are too common and too convincing. The people that have contacted me, the people that talked to me, and the people that I've talked to, are 100% certain that what happened to them was beyond an explanation, an ordinary explanation, that they are convinced um, that this goose, this apparition, this devil dog, this shuck, whatever you want to call it, was extraordinary for some reason or the other. I, and I firmly believe that um, their story shouldn't be taken lightly. No one can really explain the appearance of Old Chuck, but many are convinced that the lonely parts of East Anglia are home to a phantom creature that looks like a huge dog, but has paranormal powers. Sasquatch tracks and other evidence.